Well, look, the first thing, it was great to see our players happy and excited uh, to be celebrating um, a win, a really good win for them. Um, after getting behind in the game 17 to 7, you know, to come back and sort of play the way we're capable of playing and uh, do things with sort of a relentless competitive sort of spirit and enthusiasm and togetherness as a team, um, I think was was great. And it was, you know, really good to see the players happy, excited and celebrating uh, because they were happy that they had put something in something and got a positive result. Um, you know, in reviewing the film, obviously, you know, I think that we always have to be able to focus on taking advantage of opportunities that we have. Uh, we also have to focus on making sure that we learn the lessons of things that we do uh, that actually help the other team uh, have opportunities in the game as well. So those are all lessons to be learned. I think the focus needs to be on our team, what our team needs to do to uh, each individual on our team and each unit on our team, what do we need to do to improve? Uh, what do we need to do to try to do a better job with consistency and execution uh, in terms of what we do as coaches as well as how we get the players to stay focused so that we can execute with more consistency? You know, great to see Byron Young, SEC Defensive Lineman of the Week. He had a heck of a game. Will Reichert made some real key clutch kicks in the game. Um, it's great for those guys to get recognized. You know, Austin Pay, um, you know, Scotty Walden does a really, really good job there. Um, for FCS, you know, these guys are ranked, you know, in the top part of their division in just about everything they do. Uh, they're really good on defense. They got one of the top 10 defenses. Um, they average 450 yards a game on offense with a lot of balance. Quarterback does a really good job with them. Uh, number 10, McCray is a really explosive player that they do a good job of utilizing his talents. Uh, they got good returner. Um, so, you know, look, we need to prepare for this game like any other game that we play. Uh, we need to be ready to play well. Uh, they have enough people on their team to be able to take advantage of uh, any lack of execution. And certainly we want to focus on us being able to execute, you know, in a really positive way and try to build on the momentum I, of, you know, having a good second half and uh, improving to finish the season. Start over here on the right with Charlie. Yeah, Coach, you've talked throughout the season about the emphasis placed on turnovers. Is there something maybe you can pinpoint as a reason you guys have had so few of those this season? I, I, I can't. You know, it, it comes down to player awareness. Uh, it comes down to player focus. It comes down to, um, you know, on defense, you got to be physical. You know, when you're physical, you knock the ball off of people. Um, when you have good cleanup, all right, which means a lot of guys are getting to the ball, second guy in has a chance to take a shot at the ball. All these things are things that we emphasize, and we actually did better uh, in this last game, uh, but you know, only got the result of one turnover. Had another chance to intercept the ball, and you know, didn't make the catch, but. Um, we just got to keep harping on it and keep working on it with our players to work on how do you get the ball out, when do you take shots at it, and um, try to do it better because this is this is something that you know has a significant impact on games, and we we need, we need to do a better job in that regard. How do you describe the vision and the footwork of Bryce Young in the pocket when the when the protection breaks down and he has to make things happen? Well, you know, we had three or four of our explosive plays, you know, in the game where, you know, whatever you want to call him, moving in the pocket, making people miss in the pocket. Uh, he's deceptively quick uh, to make people miss, um, especially if they're coming out of, out of, out of control. Um, but, you know, he does a fantastic job of having a feel in the pocket of when he needs to do it and he's very good at doing it and his ability to extend plays and then our receivers have done a really good job when he does scramble of applying scramble rules to get where they need to get so they have an opportunity to make themselves available for the ball so 
uh, that's that was good for us in the game. I mean, we I think we made three or four big plays on that that kind of thing. Up front, Nick Kelly. Uh, what would you say is the next step uh, in Jacory Brooks's development? Jacory Brooks has played really well for us. Uh, I mean, the guy's a dog. Uh, he plays great on special teams. Um, he'll block. He's physical. Plays hard all the time. Uh, makes contested catches. I mean, just you know. I'm sure that if you ask him, um, there's always things that you can improve on, um, whether it's releases, separating at the top of the break, wh wh whatever. Um, and I'm, I'm sure there's things that he can improve on. But you know, he's one of the guys on our team that I think is a great competitor who has really played consistently all year long for us. Coach Brian Branch obviously had the stop on the fourth down play, but just kind of what what kind of weapons has he been in the defensive backfield all season, and just kind of his versatility. Uh, Brian Branch is a, you know, he's a very versatile player. Uh, he's got good cover skills. Uh, he's physical. He's a good blitzer. Uh, for the most part, he's a he's a good tackler. Although on the long run at the end of the game, you know, he he missed the tackle, but. Um, you know, I, I think he's a really, really good competitor. And, um, you know, his versatility as a player playing star, playing safety, playing money is, you know, it's if you don't have a few guys like that on your team, then you don't have any diversity in what you can do on defense. So and I think he's played extremely well for us and very consistently all year long. Hi, Coach. When some of those end-of-season goals are off the table, what's the biggest challenge in getting your team to play with that same consistency and intensity throughout the end of the season? Well, I think I think it comes down to a lot of the things that we talked about last week in terms of are you going to define your identity as a football player and as a football team, or are you going to let other people do it? Um, and you know, being the best that you can be as a player, uh, taking some of the things that have happened to us personally uh, in terms of your pride as a competitor and the consistency in our performance are all things that if you are a competitor, you, you're going to respond. And I think our players did that in this game. Now, the challenge is, is are we going to continue it to finish the season? What did you see from Terry and Arnold kind of stepping in for, for Eli against Ole Miss and just what, what have you, his ability to kind of just do that off the bench? Well, I mean, you saw the game. Um, yeah, I think Terry on Arnold plays really well when he plays with good technique. Uh, I think when he has bad habits in his technique, uh, which I'm not going to get into specifically, um, he allows the other guy to you know, take advantage of him on release and doesn't always put him in a great position to play the ball. Uh, but he actually played better as the game went on. Um, so, and, you know, the guy has been a starter for us for, you know, half the season. So uh, he's got experience. He should be able to go out there and play with confidence. And we have confidence in him. Uh, but I also think he's got to stay focused on doing things correctly because it helps him uh, be able to put himself in the best position. Two more. We'll start with Mike Rodak. We saw Tyler Harrell get into the game briefly on Saturday. Just where does he stand with his health and just his comfort level with the offense? Yeah, well, he's learning. Uh, he's healthy now. Uh, he's learning. He's getting lots of reps. Uh, guy's got really good speed, which I think would help us on offense. And I think, you know, we need to, you know, find ways to try to, you know, use him in certain situations that can be helpful to um, giving us some explosive vertical plays down the field, which there's, you know, been a lack of recently. And, you know, he's making really good progress. Go to Joey. Finish up over there. Hey, Coach. Uh, you talked last week on Hey, Coach, um, about unsung heroes, and you mentioned guys specifically like Byron Young and Kendrick Law. Um, not necessarily those guys specifically, but in general, um, how important are guys like that that contribute to the team that don't necessarily share the same spotlight? Well, I think it's important to have a whole team of guys like that. I think if everybody's putting the team first and want to do what they can do to help develop themselves so that they create value for their future and opportunities in their future, as well as 
whatever their role is on the team, you know, do it the best you can do it so the team has the best chance to sort of develop uh, the kind of personality as well as um, the intangibles that you need to uh, be a great competitor. And um, look, there's a lot of distractions out there. And guys have to choose to focus on the right thing. Um, can't worry about all the stuff, you know, you've heard me talk about it before, uh, external noise, rat poison, whatever you want to talk about. Whether it's good, bad, or indifferent, when you step on the field to compete, you need to be focused on what you need to do to play the best you can to dominate your box against whatever the challenge is, whether you're an offensive lineman, a defensive back, a linebacker, it doesn't matter. And um, that's a challenge. It's more challenging now than it's ever been before. Uh, but it's important for guys that aren't starters on your team, don't even know if they're going to play, uh, to get ready to play so they can take advantage of the opportunity when they do play. Uh, because those opportunities will come at some point, and sometimes it's when you least expect them. And some of the young guys on our team have done a much better job of that this year. Uh, than I thought some of the guys did in years past. All right, thank you. All right, thank you.